Jesus, we come unto you this morning. Thank you that you've allowed us to be in your presence today. Thank you that, Lord, you've woken us up to come to your house, my Lord. And we pray that now that we are in your house, my King and my Lord, that we may come with everything, with even thanksgiving that comes from the bottom of our hearts, my King and my Lord that your joy may invade us because we are in our Father's house, my King and my Lord. And now, even, Lord, as we've stepped into your house, I pray that, Lord, we lay all our burdens, all our cares, my King and my Lord, to call unto your name because our hearts, it longs for you. As the day appointed for the water, so our hearts long for you. And we pray this morning, even as we come to your place of worship, to your place that is full of holiness, my King and my Lord, you may teach us to lay everything, everything, O oh Lord, that is heavy in our hearts, my King, and that you may purge that which is not of you. Convict us, my King and my Lord. Let our worship be true. Let our worship be genuine. Let it be authentic. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. Kuna baridi, guys. Muna munaka like that. Praise God. Amen. All right. Are we happy to be in the house of the Lord? Yes. Are we happy to be in the house of the Lord? Yes. Ask your neighbor. Umefurai kuwa kwa nyumba la buwana. Ame kuambia what? Amazing. So we are about to enter a session of praise. 
um, I'd love even as we use this song to speak to God um, just acknowledges him as father if anything most songs do but this one specifically acknowledges him as father and I'd want even as we sing this song even as we dance let us focus on who he is in our lives let us focus on things that he has done for our lives and so isiko tu tunaimba lyrics isiko tu tuna dance and then atujui kinye tunaimba so 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 the song we're about to sing is called Yeshua Hamashiach and so even as we sing this song even as we fukuza baridi and demons let us sing these songs knowing whom we are singing to. Sasa. Sasa. Let's have a cup of coffee, guys. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Lion 
give a shout to the Lord. Give a shout to the Lord. Praise God, guys. Praise God. I have a testimony. It is something we take advantage of every single day. We do not see it. I just realized just how easy God can take away your life. So, so easy. And I was complaining about how I was running late. <laughs> and I missed the entire thing. From the moment that I have just opened my eyes, it is the strangest morning I have ever had in my life. <laughs> But I am here to testify that I am alive. Please do not take for granted that you are, awa you are awake, you are alive. Do not take for granted. Do not. Never do that. If you think you have nothing to be grateful for, be grateful that you are alive. That is simple. The fact that you are alive. That is something you should never take for granted. We do not even deserve to be alive. But by his grace, by his mercies, he wakes us up. Every morning, some of you lose hope, yet you are awake. If you are awake, for sure, for sure, God still has a plan for you. That is my testimony that I am standing before you here. Once that realization came to me, once the Holy Spirit quickened me, I immediately said, hey God, I am sorry. I am sorry. So here I am complaining about how I am God, and all that. And then you remind me, is it by your strength that you are awake. Do you know why you are alive? Do you know? Do you know why you are alive today? Do you know what God's purpose for you is? I was reminded that today. And reminded of how arrogant we usually are to Kiamka. Had to say, Mangi, hey, thank you, Lord, that I have breath of life. And sometimes we may, but we do not do it out of sincerity. We just say, oh, God, I thank you for life, but that's it. Like, your heart is not there. Then I understood. You'll read for yourselves in Job chapter 38. You'll understand. We are just vessels of clay. Like we don't deserve anything that he gives. We do not. As much as he has called us to be his sons and daughters, we do not deserve it. Even angels, wanawanda, wanashanga, like how can you, you know, when they wanna kosea so many times, how can you? What manner of love is this? If you have never come to that understanding, I pray that today when you leave this place, that understanding dawns on you. May the Holy Spirit give you that understanding. Because then is when you'll truly realize that and yeah, God see God see Morio. God see Morio. He's not just that come someone you come to when you are in need of something. He's God. Even when we deny his existence, he is still God. Even if we say, oh, you know, you have not done this for me. I won't worship you. He's still God. He still remains enthroned on that seat. And he will remain for eternity. For eternity. 
we cannot at have maandamano atoke kwa hiyo kiti by the moment hiyo ata inatoka kwa akili we will be destroyed if he could destroy an entire earth with floods and save only eight people eight people guys eight people these people they were told just like how we are usually told guys repent and come to Christ and we do not listen times the noah that's what they were told did they listen no up until the time that the floods were coming they were doing what we normally do uh, going to the shops getting married you know doing everything else that you do on a normal daily basis and that is how they were destroyed so guys even as we sing do not forget who you're singing for do, do not forgive do not forget who he is never 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 he's yahweh he's the king of all kings he's elohim and yet with all his might and all his power that he can easily destroy us he doesn't even need to speak with all this and his holiness he still chooses to love us he still chooses to be kind to us every day that is something that should make us ponder day in day out then you'll understand how how david wrote the psalms how even when he was been you know an attacked on an enemy's work how he still give god glory if you come to that understanding even the fact that you're standing the fact that you can even smile there are people who cannot the fact that you can see the fact that you can hear he who has an ear to hear so take your time before god if you had that person and most of most of them actually karibu kila mtu sisi hapa if you forget who, you have forgotten several times who god is si lazima usahau yeye ni god you have forgotten who he really is you may know about god but you may not know god so just take your time before him and repent take your time and repent and tell him god for all the times for all the times i have taken advantage of your grace for all the times i have taken advantage of your mercies knowing that you can freely give that you freely give them forgive me forgive me for all the times that i have wronged others and did not forgive them because of something that they did to me yet my entire life is just me making mistakes my entire life is me doing things that hurt you forgive me forgive me i am surrendering before you abba i'm surrendering before you now may you take over my life every single thing that i do take over my life because the very fact that i am here abba means you your purpose for me has not ended and may i walk in it till the day that you decide to take me back to you
worship my master. Teach me how to worship him as it pleases him. Teach me how to worship him in truth and in spirit. Teach me. Teach me how to surrender. Of 
your people is more than willing. Cry out. Sapatata. Yadalia Seke. Repasalia Taya Papa. Repasalina. Kapaya Salina. Ipatona Mayana. Repausa. We are before the King of Kings. We are before the Lord of Lords. God is an ever present help. That means that when we cry, He hears our cry. His name is Jehovah Sapaoth. He's a terrible name. That when He enters situations that are not His own, He molds them, crafts them, He helps the needy, He gives the hungry food, the thirsty are given drink. Yahweh is a name that is above all names. A holy name. And if our fathers are evil and can do good things for us, how much more our Father who is in heaven, who is good. Therefore, as you have come before him today, whisper into his ears what you would like him to do for you. Tell him, Father, forgive me, I'm a sinful man. I'm a man of unclean lips. Tell him I am weak and I cannot be able to do it without you. Tell him I have promised, but I am not a promise keeper. I have broken covenants. I have repented, Father, many days. But when I have repented again, I've gone out. And in my weakness, I have fallen short of the glory. Lord, help me. Some of our families are afflicted. Some of our bodies are full of sicknesses and diseases. We have longed for the gifts of the Holy One of Israel. Yet he says he just wants a heart that is authentic in worship, authentic in service. He whispers to us, he says, our people, if those people that are called by my name will hear, and repent and humble themselves. He say he will hear from heaven. My heart hungers for the one that rules above. Though my body is weak and I am weary, yet will I cry out to God. Though he causes pain, and suffering, yet he will bring healing. Ah. I do not know what to say about I don't know what your people need. But you know they are hard, Abba. Some of us are hunted down by darkness, afflictions, suffering day after day. Prayers are so many. We have lost track of what is answered and unanswered. And we cry out to God. We lay ourselves bare before your altar. The Spirit of the Lord has come to set us free. The Spirit of the Lord upon Jesus of Nazareth has come to declare the acceptable here of the Lord. The Lordship of Jesus is a guardian and a force for his people. There are some of us that have not given up to the Lordship of Jesus Christ.
And the Lord longs for that day. Because he stands at the door and he knocks that you may open your heart to him. We do not have eternity in this earth. Eternity is in heaven. And the return of the Son of Man is imminent. The Bible says, and if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, they were cast into the fire. Listen to me. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life, these are matters of life and death. Salvation is a matter of life and death an extremely personal decision. Give your life to Christ. To he lives the 99 for one. I have seen him walk. There is no one who loves you more than God most high. We have tested that love time and time again. We have approached the house of God in thin in garments that are full of darkness. Yet he has said, I am a merciful God. But when he comes to charge this earth, and you did not take that sacrifice, you die. If anyone's Name was not found written in that book. It is better to suffer in the kingdom of God. It is better for you to struggle with addictions in the kingdom of God. I know he helps people. surrender all that you have to him tell him father you are worth all that I have all that I do not possess tell him you mean it from your heart everything I give he's a merciful God tell him how you surrender all Hold anything back, tell him you surrender it. I surrender, I surrender. to you. Everything, Lord, everything I give to you. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding.
tell it to him. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. Tell him again. Tell him my life is not my own. Thank you, God. Thank you for loving us in such a manner of love. We give ourselves to you, all oh, our families to you, everything that we possess to you, my life and all that I have to you, oh God, that you may help me fill my heart with joy, the everlasting joy of the Holy Ghost. Let me rejoice evermore in your presence. Let me offer sacrifices before you. Let me come to the house of God. Let my name be found in the book of life. Father, there is no one else if it is not you. And we give ourselves to you, Father, with the joy of the Holy Ghost. And we say thank you for loving us and caring for us, Abba. In the mighty and terrible name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Somebody give a shout to Jesus Christ. For his same spirit we are going to sing the psalm of the day. Praise him. Jesus Christ, thank you for the provision of what we have brought to your table today. Thank you for continuous provision, Lord. And I pray for those that don't have, Father, that you may give unto them a portion that they may be able to bring. And as that have had, we bless your work with it. And every work of the Lord may prosper through it. And everything, Father, they have brought, may they prosper in it according to your will. Everything outside it, Father, may it burn and be judged. But all things that are inside you, may they prosper in the name of the Lord. As we pray and believe in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We have Bible study immediately after this. You will be blessed to come. So come.